Hey folks, Peter Scott here, Scott Realty Consultants and search sacramentohomes.com here with our real quick market update and how to talk about how the coronavirus has been affecting our market and unemployment and all that good stuff. Um, there's going to be a bunch of bullet points in this email below if you want to just read those uh, if that's what you prefer. So uh, just to let you know, listings have been down. Our market is still really competitive. There's still a lot of uh, multiple offers going on. Um, and there's a couple other factors that are pushing that in. So I'm going to give you some bullet points here. Um, our, we are continuing to see more listings come on the market because we, we got really low uh, after the pandemic started. A lot of people took their homes off the market and or didn't put their homes on the market. They were planning to. So we've been chugging up uh, slowly over the last uh, you know six weeks or so. Um, but we're still down about 9%. We have 9% fewer listings than we did pre-pandemic. Um, and when we talk about pre-pandemic, that's usually about the middle of March is when we really think that, that started happening. Um, but overall, we're down 24% listing-wise. So it's 24% fewer listings right now than there were this time last year. So that really helps contribute to the competitive market that we're in. So if you're thinking about selling your house, there's less competition right now. Uh, pending sales are down about 10% from where they were pre-pandemic. Um, and then uh, our median home price is still around $400,000. You know, it just depends on which neighborhood you're in, what zip code, where you're at. You know, if you're in Grant Bay, it's going to be a lot higher. If you're in North Highland, it's going to be a lot lower. Um, but overall, our sales volume is down 46% from where we were last year also. So that's pretty huge, 46% fewer homes. But again, there's also there's fewer people looking, but there's also fewer homes on the market. So I, that kind of evens out um, in, in, my, um, in my head. So, um, But here's the kicker. So 49% of all pending sales right now that started in May, going back since the beginning of May, had multiple offers. Almost half the homes at multiple offers. So just remember that when you're going to make an offer in a house, when you're looking at homes, there's going to be, you know, 50-50 chance there's going to be a couple other people doing the same thing. So, and I can help advise on that. Uh, our days on market is down actually 29% from where it was last year again. So that, that means it's taking less time for homes to sell. Again, indicative of a competitive market, low of inventory. Um, <clears throat> And uh, interest rates right now, if you don't know, if you haven't checked, they're crazy low. I had a friend, a Facebook mortgage guy, he, uh, he was saying that he was doing 30-year loans in the twos and 2%. It's probably the high twos, but that's crazy. I mean, I didn't really think we'd ever see that. You know, uh, a lot of people are saying the low threes was, was bananas, but now we're in the twos. So check that out. Um, so now to get a real, little bit of a reality check, obviously I'm saying our market's really strong, it's competitive, uh, but some of the things we're looking at in the future right now is um, about 9% of all mortgages in the country, not Sacramento, but in the country are in forbearance. So that's a pretty big number. Of, uh, so 9% of people aren't paying their mortgages right now. So that will have an effect down the line, most likely. Those people may be out of forbearance and go back to work and keep paying with no, um, with no hiccups there, or they may not, they have to sell their house. Um, and then obviously you probably know that unemployment is really crazy high right now. Um, so that's obviously should affect our market some, at some way at some point. We just don't know yet. And then another thing about Sacramento is we have 78,000 uh, state workers here that they're all taking pay cuts. So that could also impact our market right now. But to sum it up, no one knows what's going to happen with our market. We have some of these outside things, these economic conditions that are, are, are on the perimeter that will probably eventually affect our real estate market. But on the other side, we have a very competitive, very strong real estate market really getting driven by low interest rates and lack of inventory. So where this all will play out, nobody knows. But if you're thinking about moving, it's still a great time. You got for If you're a seller, you have less competition. If you're a buyer, you've got great interest rates. And there's still plenty of homes right now. So let me know if you have any questions right now. I'd be happy to help you out. Take care.